Even for the most avid college soccer fan, the scene on the field at Clockner Stadium this fall will look foreign. The Virginia men's soccer team has been revamped with fresh faces from around the world, along with a new style of play that is proving successful early in the year. You have a, a Spaniard, you have a, a German, you have a Ghanaian, you have an Ivorian in Kofi, and don't forget uh, Daniel Breer, who's a Denmark kid. You add a transfer in there, and, and Bay Kurtz. You add a, a freshman in Terrell Lowe. You, you add a six foot seven center forward in JJ Nixon, a six foot five center forward in Leon Marich, and a goalkeeper who's always been good for us. And it's this is what it starts to look like. Last year, we played most of the year more reactive, meaning more defensive. This year's a whole different year, and I pride ourselves and our coaching staff on being adaptable. Year in and year out, we can play different ways, depending on our personnel and what, I, what we think we need. This group has a heavy ball position, starting with our back three and our goalkeeper. I mean, it's difficult to contain us. And when you, when you have guys that are good at that, in particular those three across the back, that are confident and technique and passing and, and, and understanding of the game, when it's at that level and you can push teams back, now you can set things up. Now you can set up how you break a team down, but you have to be able to keep the ball coming out of the back. If you don't, it just turns into a back and forth, and that's what we've been able to do so far. The way that this team is playing right now, uh, it probably requires more energy. Not only are we you know, going forward with a lot of uh, energy, but we're pressing. So when the ball turns over, we're, we're pressing, 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 and so it does require more energy. But you also have to have the, the players to do it. I, I, again, I, I don't think I would play this style or system if I didn't have the ability to hold the ball in particular coming out of the back, push the other team back, and I would, we wouldn't be able to press another team like the way that we're doing if we didn't have the depth. I think we have both, and that's why we're playing both. And so that's why I think you see what you see. I think you'll see when we go to Wake Forest, a, a minimum of six or seven guys coming in, which for me, my team, that's unusual. I mean, I usually play three guys, you know, four on a, on a, on a big night come off the bench for me over the, the entire game. I think it's going to look a little different this year with the way we're playing. Beyond the play on the field, the team is a collection of individual cultures merging into one solid core in Virginia, one built on chemistry and the expectation of excellence. First and foremost, we look for players that we feel like fit our our system, our style. There's certainly an academic component too. Starting in the spring and January through our spring season, it was it was also a constant concentration of ours not only to find the right players, but to make sure they were also the right locker room players. And I think that, that we, we have found those guys. We're pleased. We've got, like I said, Spanish, German, Ghanaian, Ivorian, Denmark, transfer. But we've also got a pretty good culture and a pretty good locker room. The, these guys make me smile and laugh every day just with the the different cultures and mannerisms and senses of humor within the different cultures with each other having a, a laugh, uh, sometimes hilarious actually. You can be the most talented team and the best team in the world if you don't have the, uh, the locker room piece of it going on. It makes it really, really tough, almost impossible. So far, I think we, we have that piece. I believe that the core of your team needs to fit almost exactly to what we, wh who we are, the school, the, the soccer piece. But then I feel like that the, I like having guys, a few guys on the periphery. Sometimes when you have all of the same type of guys, it doesn't work either. It's tricky to, to, to have that core and then have a group of guys that of course have to be talented and, and most times are your most talented guys. That you, you your, your core and culture of your team kind of pull in, pull into that core. And when you can pull that, start pulling that kind of stuff off, you make them better men. Now their talents come out a little bit better. They're playing for the team. And I think this team in particular reflects that. It's so meaningful when you see them come in to the group and, and, and it, you know, come into these core values of what you think the, the, the program is and stands for and, and, and finish here. You know, that's, uh, it's, it's really rewarding to see that.